Hey, it's Dennis here, Victor Echo 3 Bravo Foxtrot. Let's take a look at another antenna solution. This time we're going to look at the Valcom uh, VAS 1011. And uh, this is a fiberglass whip. It breaks down into uh, 52 inch sections and it, uh, it extends up to 35 feet, actually 34 foot plus the base. Uh, it's actually uh, somewhere around 33 foot. 10 or somewhere around in that neighborhood but uh, uh, basically 35 foot tall um, including the base and it's a great antenna for 40 meters and above and it's uh, it's going to be a great antenna for me for uh, 80 and 160 as soon as I get the loading coil done but I want to get this video done while the temperature is good so let's jump right into it let's take a look at this system okay so let's take a look at the system first of all this is the antenna mount it is a six bolt unit uh, aluminum cast aluminum plate on a fiberglass uh, post uh, there is a, um, a bolting area here for the hot lead of your antenna i've put on a four to one ballon uh, the four to one ballon uh, balances the antenna quite nicely uh, allows me to load it up anywhere from 40 to six meters uh, without any issues uh, without using a loading coil so that's pretty cool i've got a couple of things going on here first of all um, i've got this c-clamp which allows me to attach grounding wires and other things uh, to the base and i've got some quick bolts here which uh, we're just going to remove real quickly now having the quick bolts off uh, uh, simply allows me to tilt the antenna over uh, so that uh, lets me assemble it while it's on the truck. Uh, this is a two inch square tubing and uh, that attaches uh, onto the Reese hitch on the truck. And then uh, down at the bottom, all I've done here is I've soldered a couple of angles uh, or welded a couple of angles uh, to the, um, uh, to the uh, tubing and uh, created two little plates here with a hinge. And so, uh, like, like I said, it's a simple mount. I haven't even had a chance to paint the inside of it yet because I've been wanting to get it on the air. Okay, so that's the base of the antenna and uh, the uh, mounting system. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to uh, move things over. We'll close up the trail gate. We'll mount this on and uh, you guys can see how that works out. And then we'll talk about the whip itself. Okay, so we're just gonna pull the pin here and open up the Reese hitch. We'll pop this in now this is a super duty so it's got a double sleeve it's a little trickier than most reach hitches but uh, it's not uh, not totally out of line we'll just get the, get this lined up here there is of course uh, a directionality because uh, uh, the antenna is at the end of the uh, the ground system so I do use counter poises I'm not going to do it today and the only reason I'm not going to do it today is because uh, I'm moving around here with the camera and it uh, it makes for a bit of a tripping hazard so uh, but generally on a longer uh, uh, a longer operation we'll pop in uh, I, I've been popping in four counterpoises so there you go that's installed and uh, it's the tilt over system now um, I'm gonna come back to this little C bracket here uh, the nice thing about the C-bracket is I can put that on and so if it's windy, uh, the antenna, uh, I can uh, lock it in so it doesn't move while I put on the thumb screws. So let's look at the antenna itself. All right, so the antenna is pretty cool. We've got these uh, sections here. Like I said, they're 52 inches long from tip to tip. And uh, we've got a nickel-plated brass ferrule here. And uh, this is really well built. This is, uh, from what I understand, they're all handmade, they're all hand wound. Uh, so this simply screws in to the base here and you start building your antenna. So um, that's all good and done. And this is why I uh, put on the tilt section here is because uh, it's a lot easier to build it while it's down here on the ground uh, than it is uh, way up in the air. So the uh, sections, uh, they, uh, they taper down and uh, right down to uh, the final section here, which is a rubber coated tip. Now you'll notice uh, as I put this together that all the sections fit inside one another. So there's no exposed areas. There's no, uh, there's no danger of, uh, of anyone getting, uh, uh, getting uh, some, uh, an RF burn or anything like that. So that's it, that's the system. We'll put it together. I'm gonna to set up the camera in a different, connect, in a different, uh, 
in a different location here so that you guys can see uh, how quickly this goes together. Now I parked in this area because this rock here, <laughs> we're gonna just throw down a little bit of a painter's tarp so I don't scratch up the antenna. And we'll put that down and let's start putting this thing together. Now again, these sections just uh, insert one into the other and then you screw it in. So it's that simple and uh, it, it's quick and easy. 10 minutes and you're on the air. So this is where we uh, tilt over the bracket here and we'll get uh, this section screwed in. Well, we're just about there. Final section. Bring that in, line it up and uh, screw it in place. And tight, now we just walk it up. Here's where the little uh, C-clamp comes in. Now you'll notice that uh, if there was any kind of wind at all, uh, this thing's got some flex in it. So I just popped a little C-clamp on here and that stops the antenna from going anywhere. I can uh, tighten everything down and uh, pop in the, uh, the bolts. All right, so I'm plugged into a little glass mat battery here. Let's turn on the, uh, the ASU 891 and uh, let's see what's going on here. First of all, let's see what we can get for tuning. There we go. We'll get that going and uh, She'll tune up uh, uh, pretty darn good here. And uh, if you want to see a couple of other videos, uh, look at the video that we did last uh, Saturday. Uh, it just got posted onto YouTube. Put a link down to it uh, where we used a 991, same antenna into the truck and uh, made some contacts doing uh, Canadian National Parks on the air and uh, made a ton of contact. Now don't forget in previous videos, you saw that this uh, meter reads high. So it's about uh, 0.4 units high. So the, the uh, 1.6 to 1 uh, really were somewhere around 1.1. So uh, that has been documented in a few other videos. But uh, I'm hearing some voices here on 40 meters. One of the reasons I like to come down here at the Rideau Canal is that the uh, noise levels are so low. Hard to tune with a glove on. Uh, QRZ is the frequency in use. Uh, QRZ is the frequency in use. Victor Echo 3, Bravo Foxtrot. Hello CQ, CQ, CQ40, CQ40, CQ40. This is Victor Echo 3, Bravo Foxtrot. Victor Echo 3, Bravo Foxtrot on 40 meters, testing a new antenna. Victor Echo 3, Bravo Foxtrot, testing anyone around that could give me a signal report. CQ, CQ, Victor Echo 3, Bravo Foxtrot. They're five and nine in New Jersey. Well, thank you very much uh, for New Jersey. Uh, very good afternoon to you, sir. My name is Dennis, Delta Echo, November, India, Sierra, and I'm testing a 35-foot vertical here and uh, doing a little YouTube video while we're at it. Uh, uh, back to you. Okay, all well, your verticals doing a fine job. I'm on a sloper, which is uh, 132 feet, um, multi-band antenna, running about 500 watts in your Q5. Now, very good. And what's the call there for the log? Over. Oh, call sign. Yeah, sure. Uh, kilo to Zulu Golf Whiskey. 
All right, Kilo 2 Zulu Golf Whiskey, thank you very much. Uh, I'm actually portable here. I'm uh, next to uh, uh, next to what is uh, known as the Rideau Canal here in, uh, in the capital city of Canada, the city of Ottawa. And uh, you're 5'7 uh, to 5'9 uh, coming in to me. And I'm actually uh, standing outside here. <laughs> it's just a little bit... Uh, uh, a little bit below uh, the freezing, or a little bit above the freezing mark. Uh, actually, not a bad day to be outside. There's no wind, and uh, uh, this is a 35-foot uh, vertical mounted off the bumper of my truck. Over. Okay, very good. I usually get in uh, uh, pretty good into Ottawa, uh, AWA. Um, so um, yeah, you're doing a great job. No problem at all. You running just barefoot? Yeah, 100 watts uh, into uh, my uh, little eight, or out of my eight, little uh, Yesu 891 uh, uh, FT 891 portable here, or mobile rig, I guess you would call it, and uh, it seems to be doing a great job. Or yeah, you're you're no problem at all. I mean, there's a little bit of QSB, you know, not having any power to help with that uh, that little shock wave there, but uh, other than that, you're doing great. Yeah, you're doing all right, very good. Well, you're 10 over there on that last transmission, so fantastic. Thanks for the contact today, and uh, I'm just going to cruise over to the, uh, or QSY over to the 20 meter band here and see if I can make a contact there. And uh, I'll uh, send you a link. If your information is good on QRZ, I'll send you a link to the little video here. Over. All right, very good, Dennis. Good to hear you, and uh, have a great day. K2ZGW. Very good. K2ZGW, VE3, Bravo Fox 73. That was a quick, uh, a quick answer on that call. Let's go over to the 20 meter band here and uh, see what's going on there. Looks like we have some sounds, so let's do a quick tune up. Nothing going on on this frequency. That was pretty quick and uh, we got a pretty good SWR there. Uh, this would be a half wave uh, uh, on this band, so get a little bit of gain here. Now let's jump up into the uh, into the higher portion of the band here. And then I left the um, uh, go into the general section here. Uh, QRZ Victor Echo 3 Bravo Foxtrot. Victor Echo 3 Bravo Foxtrot. Victor Echo 3 Bravo Foxtrot. Roger. Roger, Roger. I just uh, stumbled upon your signal here. I did not hear your call sign, uh, but this is Victor Echo 3 Bravo Foxtrot. Uh, my name is Dennis, Delta Echo, November India Sierra, and I'm operating portable, operating portable here uh, outdoors in Ottawa, Canada. Ottawa, Canada. Over, over. Victor Echo 3 Bravo Foxtrot. Victor Pop, 2 Echo, Tango Echo. My name is Teddy, Tango Echo, Delta Delta Yankee on the Caribbean island of Anguilla and I've got your 5 and 9. Over. Uh, Roger, Roger, Teddy. Thank you very much for the five and nine. Uh, you're five seven, five seven, five seven into Ottawa, Ontario, and uh, I'm just outside here on a beautiful sunny day. Uh, the temperature is uh, two degrees, two degrees Celsius, and uh, we're next to the uh, Rideau River here, operating on the back of the truck with a uh, a 35 foot vertical. Back to you, Teddy. Victor Echo Three Bravo Fox Trot Victor Papa Two Echo Tango Echo. Well, it's 29 degrees Celsius on Anguilla. It's a beautiful day here in paradise. And I'm running um, 100 watts in the home rule of the Super Typhoon of 35 feet over. Oh, very good, Teddy. It sounds like you're a little bit warmer than we are. Hi, hi. <laughs> very good. Well, listen, I won't hold it up. I'll let you work a few more stations. If your uh, information is good on QRZ, I'm actually recording this conversation on a little YouTube video here, so we'll send you a link to it. Over. Okay, no problem. I'm good on QRZ, my friend. Over. All right, Teddy. Thank you very much for the contact into Anguilla today, and uh, it's good to hear you, my friend. Nice signal here into Ottawa. Uh, 73, stay cool and uh, don't get in the sun too, too long. Hi, hi. 
Uh, thanks for the contact. Victor Echo 3 Bravo Foxtrot 73. Okay, my friend, thank you very much for the contact. All the best. Happy holidays. Stay warm now and 73. Bye bye. Well, there you go. That's uh, two pretty cool contacts here uh, next to the Rideau Canal and uh, one on 40 and one on uh, 20. Uh, the band seems to be in pretty good shape. Uh, it has been for the last few days. I'm going to put a link down below here. You can see a whole bunch of more contacts using this antenna, but I was using a different radio. We were using the FT991 and uh, this is uh, the video was shot this past Saturday uh, down at Merrickville, which is another lock on this same river, uh, just, a few, uh, just a few kilometers south of here. Uh, so not very far. We were using the call sign Victor Alpha 3 Radio Alpha Charlie. Yeah. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, drop them down in the comments uh, section below. A little bit of operator error on the camera. Uh, the footage that you saw of the teardown was actually taken earlier this week with uh, VA3JPG helping me out. Uh, that's JP and uh, he's also on the uh, video uh, at the uh, CNPOTA, um, the Canadian National Parks on the Air video. So uh, thanks to JP, uh, you've been a great help. So that's it, that's the antenna in its pieces. So of course you can put it together in different lengths, but uh, we just went with the full length today and uh, it was pretty good. And of course, again, the base. Well, there you have it, a pretty fast uh, setup, a pretty fast tear down, great for portable work. Of course, you can modify this mount and have it in the backyard, great for HOAs. A uh, big shout out and thanks to Valcom Manufacturing for providing this antenna for me to test. Uh, put a link to their website down below. Now, just a quick disclaimer, this is not your typical amateur radio antenna. This is a commercial grade antenna and uh, it is priced accordingly, okay? So it is a little high in price for, for most amateurs, uh, but I'll tell you the quality of this antenna you're going to have it for a lifetime so uh, it may be worth the investment for you check it out and also a big shout out to uh, LDG Electronics for, for providing the antenna tuner uh, for this video and many of my other ones uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel I'm Victor Echo 3 Bravo Foxtrot saying 73 and we'll catch you on the next one